Good morning and welcome to Texas Banking Radio, where your number one source on the radio for insight into the hot topics that impact the banking industry here in Texas. I'm Sam Desmond. Today's guest is Brian Townley. He's here to talk bank marketing with us. Brian is a leadership author and an international speaker who started his professional career in the banking industry back in 1987. Brian, is bank marketing a priority for most banks? Well, thank you, Sam. I appreciate the opportunity to be here to discuss the importance of bank marketing today. The landscape of banking has changed drastically over the last 10 years, and marketing has become a prime tool in the banking sector. It's truly what bridges the gap between the solutions the bank offers and the needs of a consumer. Well, give me, give me some examples of bank marketing that's being done right. Well, I believe that the public wants to do business with people and not buildings or people that don't have the authority to truly help them. I believe that banks that have a mission to truly create and expand relationships is where the answer to where an example of marketing done right will be found. And so what are some common mistakes that you see uh, some some banks or other companies doing with marketing? <laughs> you know, some of the biggest mistakes I've seen revolve around the lack of product knowledge and product training. Um, I once proved this by having all the executives of a bank come to a training session that I did, and we were talking about branding and how people such as McDonald's has done such a great job with branding. And to prove my point, I asked them to write down all the products that McDonald's offers and to see who could come up with the most in a minute. They were surprised how many they could come up with, but I surprised them by asking them to now flip the page over and write down all the products that the bank offers in the same <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> yeah, and everyone's McDonald's list was longer than the bank's. So I proved <laughs> that everyone in that room knew more about McDonald's than they knew about the place that they represented every day. And this was the management. So how on earth could they expect to market a place they knew so little about? And the reason I think that's so important is because nine times out of ten, a solution to a problem a customer may have is found in a product or service that a bank provides. So product knowledge is that's that's a that's a good story. I'm sure those guys aren't eating at McDonald's every night, so that's just a <laughs> testament to how well they're doing. So how how let's talk about social media. How important is that in the marketing plan for a bank? Well, social media is how banks are now connecting to the community. Um I remember 10, 15, 20 years ago when bank lobbies were packed, but with technology these numbers have declined. Therefore, social media is now a way to stay connected. But the most important mistake or the most important thing that I've seen that banks uh, are not doing is that they, they understand the importance of needing social media networks, but they're not dedicated to using them up to their full potentials. And it's like the old saying goes, are you living with potential or are you living up to your potential? And living up to your potential is where – I see social media being the most successful. Yep. And uh, so what are some marketing trends that you're seeing from banks? Well, you know, I see banks working hard to uh, improve the overall experience for the customers. This includes continuing enhancements uh, to online delivery channels and 24-7 access to information services. But as mobile payment capabilities advance in the consumer bank with consumer banking, the corporate side of banking is catching up as well. And with their new mobile offerings uh, by having access to being able to make deposits and uh, through their smartphones or tablets is making it a whole lot more convenient for them. I always uh, I also see banks trying to come up with ideas. Uh, to keep connected for a greater relationship expansion for opportunities. Tell me about generational marketing. Well, you know, that's that's a great thing in marketing today. Generational marketing is simply means understanding that each generation has its own characteristics driven by experiences, values, and beliefs. These characteristics lead to the 
individual personalities of each generational segment. So once you've unlocked what makes each segment tick, you'll be able to effectively target each segment. And so once you know that, then it's – so banks should then tailor marketing to these different generational niches. Yeah, it's all about, you know, understanding who your target is, what you want to go for, and understanding what makes them tick to be able to deliver your message to those people. All right. Well, I, I know typically uh, with, you know, with ideally in any company, but with, with larger companies, they have marketing departments. And so th these, of course, are who develop these different marketing strategies and plans. For a smaller bank, and a lot of our banks here are community banks, who's the one that develops the, the marketing plan for them? Well, that's a good question because each bank structure is different, and it kind of depends on the manpower that they have. But I believe the winning element to any plan is ownership and accountability. You know, I've seen some of the most amazing market plans and tactics that remain untapped simply because the person writing them didn't have the authority to implement them. And by that, I mean they didn't have the authority to go. They became good suggestions. And so they didn't have the authority to say, we are going to do these things. And so the people that were writing them, you know, spent lots of man hours writing them, and then that's all they, they remained are really good suggestions. Therefore, buy-in, accountability, and commitment is more important to me than who actually writes the plan. If that commitment starts from the top, there's no cap to what can be accomplished. It's important for the marketing director to have a close relationship with the CEO and the asset liability committee to be able to have that kind of accountability. Yeah, I don't want all those ideas to end up in a shoebox somewhere. <laughs> and I've seen it. I've seen it happen many times. I'm sure, and that's got to be discouraging for those you know, the, uh, when you were the, the ones that are not management the, that are chipping in. Exactly, especially when you've been the one that's just written them and you believe in these plans so much and you know the potential that they could have. We're talking with Brian Townley, a professional development specialist with com. How has bank marketing changed over the years? Well, Sam, I've seen that, you know, banking is respons marketing is responsible for branding the bank's overall promise to the customer through public relation efforts. And in so my opinion, how, how is that different from advertising? Well, in my opinion, bank marketing is truly the pulse of what drives results that are needed with strategic planning set forth by the asset liability management, with talent management in training product about product knowledge and the overall customer experience with purchasing of anything that brands the bank's logo or image and with, um, you know, development of new relationships through name exposure, product management, and delivery solutions. And with all that said, it's a whole lot more important than planning next year's bank picnic or taking out an ad in the local paper, uh, which that's what it used to be uh, years and years ago. But it's such an important position now uh, within an organization. Okay, and so how are you analyzing, or how does the bank best analyze the success of their marketing programs? Well, any good marketing program is analyzed by results. So all goals and tactics should be tracked which allow the bank to enhance the things that are working and discontinue the things that aren't. You know, I've, I've, I've never been a, a believer in someone that says, you know, this isn't working, so let's tweak it, and then now it's still not working, so let's tweak it some more. Just do away with it. If it's not working, it's not working. So let's enhance the stuff that is working and make it work that much better. Yeah. And so uh, what marketing elements? And banks on a budget incorporate. We've got a lot of those here in Texas, a lot of smaller community banks that just don't see like they have the uh, the big budgets of these larger larger banks for uh, marketing. You know, what can I, they do? That's such a great uh, question because that's one of the, whenever I was the bank director, the marketing director for uh, a bank for 10 years, that was one of my 
biggest challenges. And what I found was that media relations was an amazing source for this. And I found some great, great ideas from a gentleman by the name of Jeff Creeley, who is also going to be a speaker at the upcoming uh, TBA Marketing Management Conference in September. But he has a book. He's an Emmy Award-winning journalist who was in the media for 24 years, and now all he does is help organizations uh, utilize the media as a useful resource. Uh, He has a book simply called free publicity, and it's packed with amazing elements on how a bank can market on a budget. Great. And, of course, you you mean the uh, TBA 2014 Marketing Conference. That will be held down in San Antonio, Texas, September 22nd through the 24th. Uh, you can find out more information about that by going to the website at texasbankers.com. Under the Education and Training tab, go to Events List and search for the September events. You can also give Kathy Box a call at 512-472-8388 or email her at Kathy, K-A-T-H-Y, at TexasBankers.com. So, Brian, now uh, thanks for all this great information, by the way. Um, Tell me about BrianTownley.com. Well, I've been in banking for over 26 years, and I've been the director of HR, the director of marketing, and done about everything um, in the bank. And through that, my passion has just always been professional development in bridging plan through to strategic planning to talent management. And so I'm just uh, super excited to help so many different uh, banks around the country and even internationally be able to do that. And one of the things that I'll be doing this year is hosting uh, the TBA Marketing Conference that's coming up in September and just helping put this whole thing together and tying it all together to help banks really tap into that potential of being the best marketers they can. That's great. Well, if anybody is interested in anything else about what uh, Mr. Townley does, of course, the name of the company says it all. Go to BrianTownley.com for more information and um, sign up and find out more information about the marketing conference. And you can come see him speak live along with others such as Jeff Creeley, who you just mentioned, um, who are going to help you uh, with professional development in your bank. Brian, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Absolutely. Well, that's it for us today here at Texas Banking Radio. Thanks to all of our listeners for tuning in. And special thanks to Brian Townley of BrianTownley.com for joining us today to talk about bank marketing. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll be talking with Ryan Bell. He's the CEO of Gremlin.com, and they specialize in social media for financial institutions. Tune in next week. We'll do it again. Thank you.